Hi, I'm Jim Francis. Today I'm going to show you some installation guidelines for the Cambridge coupling. But before I do that, I want to share some of my favorite features with you. The Cambridge coupling can be installed on different diameters of tubing. It can also be used on different tubing materials such as poly and copper tubing. It also comes in different configurations like female adapters, male adapters, and also coupling. First, you can determine the size of the connection by looking right here at the end of the nut. On each nut, the size of the connection is stamped right there on the end. Once you've determined that, you can first insert the tubing into the end of the connection and hand tighten that down just before the rubber gasket touches the tubing. Once you've done that, take the tubing out, hold it up to the pipe stop mark on the side of the fitting and go ahead and just put a mark right there on the side of that tubing. At this point, make sure the end of the tubing is cut square. Now insert the tubing to the mark. You could also use your thumb for this. So hold it there, insert it down to that mark or to, till your thumb touches the end of the fitting and you're at the proper insertion depth. That will keep the two pieces of pipe separated apart so they don't touch when you insert inside the fitting. Now finish doing that hand tight connection until you can no longer tighten it by hand and then go ahead and finish the installation with the proper smooth jaw wrenches. Tighten that fitting down until you no longer can tighten it anymore. Once you can no longer tighten it, the connection is made and it's good to go. Again, I'm Jim Francis. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.